Hello friends, Ryan Ryder and Channing from MyKidCuresCancer.com. We are about out of deodorant and so we thought we would show you guys what we do for deodorant around here. Now a message that we have been really trying to preach is that living a healthy, non-toxic lifestyle goes beyond just what you put inside of your body. It has to do with the, the environment you surround yourself in, the, uh, the thoughts that you think, and what you put on your body. And so if you're buying just a, a regular commercial deodorant <laughs> in the drugstore, you uh, you're you getting a lot of chemicals in there. Look at the back of that thing and you're going to get a huge laundry list of chemicals. So when it comes to an area of a lot of pores, it's really something to be mindful of. And that is why I have taken to making my own deodorant lately because I know exactly what's going to go in it. I've tried a few different recipes and this is the one that is the, the easiest and it also seems to be the most effective. So what you're going to need is coconut oil, cornstarch, baking soda, and your essential oil of choice. You're going to want something antibacterial. We like the Spice of Life blend by B. Young. Think Old Spice, but about 10,000 times better smelling, and it's also good for you, so that's a, that's a win-win there. You're going to need a mixing bowl, and finally, a jar to store it in. You're going to need two tablespoons of the cornstarch, two tablespoons of the baking soda. A little messy here. We will now mix the cornstarch and the baking soda together. We're going to need three tablespoons of the coconut oil. Now if your house is cold, you may want to warm up the coconut oil on the, uh, on the stove just very lightly. You don't want to melt it by any means, but just so you can get it, oh no, 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 bud. Just so you can get it soft enough to, uh, to mash it, because you're going to need to mash all this together. Here, eat that coconut oil. Take it. Take the, take the tablespoon. There you go. Alright. Now finally, essential oils. Now in a, in a food recipe you would say uh, essential oil to taste. Since we're doing deodorant, maybe essential oil to smell. We'll say 10 drops of essential oil. Spice of Life by B. Young. We're simply going to mash everything together. You want to mash a little bit, bud? And mash it. We eat that. You don't eat that, bud. Don't eat that. No matter how tempting it is, do not eat the deodorant. And look at that. We have a nice, fluffy bowl of good, organic, clean deodorant. And it smells very good. Spoon it into our little jar here. And look at that. It's our little jar of deodorant. You want to smell this deodorant, bud? Smell it. So when you're applying this every morning, just a little dab, that's all you need. Smell my armpit. Is that good? It's good. So that's a wrap. Smelling fresh and staying healthy at MyKidCuresCancer.com. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already for more healthy how-tos.